What is up, YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode of Our 6D Journey. My name is Lucas, and I'm here to help us build healthy relationships. So I've been really tossing this idea back and forth a lot, and I feel like this is the moment to really solidify it and put it out there for everybody. In life, all of our relationships are based on our karma, right? We go out and we lie to someone. We're six, seven years old. We lie about stealing a cookie from the cookie jar. 10 years later, we're at home and someone eats something out of the kitchen. We can't find it. We ask everyone in the house and they're like, hey, what happened to the cookies? And all of a sudden you want a cookie and there's no cookies because someone ate it. Karmic debt. <laughs> and at that exact moment, if we just accept the payment that comes in and go, oh crap, I just lost a cookie, I'm now debt free. If we just accept it and we're accountable for it, poof, we're now on zero for that karmic debt. Now at the same time, um, say we really like getting cookies as say Christmas gifts. We love when someone shows up for cookies. So all throughout December, we are making other people cookies giving them to our coworkers, our friends, our family, and we're paying karmic credit. Um, and that theory, I haven't heard anyone use it like that before because it really is kind of looking at your life and your karma almost like a bank ledger. And my thing that I think is really kind of difficult to explain is, I'm, I'm gonna, this is gonna be easy, it's gonna be easy. Say three generations ago, three, say three generations ago, your grandmother went through some certain tribulation and trial with a relationship. She was with an abuser or someone who neglected her, but she stayed with him because she didn't have any money. She was afraid to tell her family that it wasn't working out. She didn't want to get a divorce. She stays with that person. That energy of dynamic of putting up with something that you, that you don't deserve is going into every person around you. All your friends who think that your relationship is successful, all the, your kids that are watching the relationship grow, they're seeing you choose to stay even though you're not supposed to, you probably should have left, but you wanted to stay. That person created their own karmic circle that then you received and is now part of your base programming. And even though you aren't aware of it because it's subconscious, it's in your programming. You've been programmed to stay with neglectful and abusive partners, even though you're not happy. That you're just, you have to work this out. This has to work out for me. I have to make this work because I feel such a deep connection and I love them. That's also a debt to pay off. And even though it wasn't your debt because your grandmother did it, if you're acting in accordance with that debt and you're re-manifesting the energy based on your choices, it's now your debt. Because <laughs> you picked it up. <laughs> you went and replicated that energy and that, that weight and you're now pulling it behind you. And throughout our lives, we are constantly, constantly, it never stops, <laughs> working off karmic debt. And at the same time, we're paying karmic credit forward, you know? So we're learning things about ourselves, about reprogramming our own belief systems that are creating shifts for the generations to come. And I think sometimes like people get so wrapped up in their relationships, they don't want to walk away because, I'm come here, baby. She was calling me. She's like, hey, hold me, I love you. <laughs> And we're always working towards paying those debts off and work towards paying off, paying toward what it is we want to receive someday. And that's why I, I, it drives me crazy when people are like, oh, I wasted my time doing this class with this teacher or I wasted my time being their friend because they ended up betraying me or I wasted my time trying to be nice to my stepmother because she's always abusive towards me. You're never wasting your time ever. You're always paying off or paying forward. And as soon as we accept that re that reality and that paradigm is true, everything shifts. Everything in your whole life shifts because then, oh, I'm getting itchy because I'm still working on this myself. <laughs> everything in your life starts shifting because you start realizing the value of all the things you're doing. That every thought, every action, every being of moment is all towards your goals and your plan and where it is that you're going. Um, and I just think it's really important to really, notifications drive me crazy, to honor that and appreciate the karma that we're dealing with. This, her name is Samantha, and she's going to her new mommy. 
on Thursday, just a few days away. And I'm not gonna lie, this one's really sweet. <laughs> she's so sweet. <laughs> she wants to be with me all the time and she's just a precious little girl. And I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss you a little bit. I'm gonna miss you a little bit, I think so. Oh, yes, we are. But you guys have fun. Keep paying off your debts. Keep building your credit for your karma. And I promise life will get better. Isn't that right, Sam? Isn't that right? <laughs>